Egyptian when he left his home in St. Andrew and traveled to Portmore. But well, Portmore is not kids for the To the town where the promoter, known as Mr. Wang, ran his studio. Egyptian grew up singing in his mother's Adventist church, listening to his Rastafarian father's music. His father had been a promoter for a time. So he understood the grooming and what it took to get his son to where he needs to, and also to improve his, on his, this passion he had. I really don't need this enough. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wong, the smooth singer, was presented with a song that would suit his conscious upbringing, serious times. Egyptian caught the track at Mr. Wang's studio. Combining hypnotic Naya Bingi drums with lyrics that pled for an end to violence and crime. Serious times. That exploded across Jamaica, the Caribbean, and the world, let's face it. By the time this singer, the single became, named, became number one on the charts in Jamaica, Egyptian was receiving calls from producers who wanted to work with him all over with other stars. After being presented with enough social conscious music and old school lovers rock to pull a full length album, Egyptian made his debut in 2006 with this album, My Name is Egyptian, on the VP record label. Two years later, he returned with can feel your pain. Mm -hmm. An album heavily influenced by contemporary R&B, and in 2010, Egyptian released gold-selling single, Who Hold You, which captured who no hold you. Which captured him, <laughs> which captured him, it would spiral, it just keeps spiral, spiral to way up to the arm, um, to the spotlight again. The single was followed by a soca remix, hip hop remix, which featured rap star Nicki Minaj. But let me tell you what you don't know about this man. Which I am more, as much as I love your music, this has gained my respect and the Consul General's respect. We spoke about this. Combining his success with his philanthropic, philanthropic focus, Egyptian has supported uh, Therapy Plus Jamaica, which is a special needs school for autistic persons. Wow. No, stop. And for those of you who don't understand what it is like being autistic in Jamaica, <laughs> I hope you never find out. Mm -hmm. He has founded their reading room with specialized books through the Jamaica Autism Support Association. For the past eight years, Egyptian has hosted a birthday celebration in Tavern St. Andrew 
donating all. And my friend did go there and tell me, say, every, every penny <laughs> went to his alma mater. He founded Oberlin High School Computer Lab and continues to work with the school. His Life Love Butterfly Foundation received a substantial donator, donation so that the teenage girl, this teenage girl could have a life-saving heart surgery. I can't remember her name. Most recently, Egyptian started the Wendell Edwards Foundation whose mandate is to work with children with special needs. See that trend here? That is to drive in Tavern St. Andrew, where he grew up. That's a country, real country. <laughs> Egyptian has topped iTunes and Billboard reggae charts. He has performed at New York's Times Square in 2013 for the Jamaica Tourist Board Feel All Right campaign, I remember that. He is currently ranked in the top 10 most successful performing artists from Jamaica. Jamaica. Yeah. I'm going to ask to present this award. I'm going to ask Kari Lagi, who is the recording secretary for Yuja, United Jamaica Alumni Association, quite apt, mm -hmm. seeing that he is really passionate about helping mm -hmm. the underserved. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wendell Bonita. Chip Shot. Somebody something on the whole world I see. It. You understand? Yeah, but I guess this is a time now we have to make people see. It. Yeah. But no, we're not working at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, so I mean, it's a pleasure, man. You know, for all the people having a guy like me here, VP, the whole team, you understand? 
for where I come from. Mm -hmm. You understand? For. Mm -hmm. Back then, we can see the pain before a lot of people in kicks though, because we just sent that up to the road and said, so we don't hide. <laughs> this is the pain that passed. Shh. Mm -hmm. Never ever think I'll be in one one day. Mm -hmm. You understand? But music is what really saved me. Mm -hmm. You understand? And yeah. mm -hmm. It's not everything they say, really, it's true. Because mm -hmm. everywhere we go, we face crisis. You understand? And once a person believes in themselves, yeah. no matter if you want to sell water, yeah. sell bread from heart and right, eat the bread in a long time. Yeah. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. So, I mean, no matter what you do, you just have to believe in yourself. Yeah. You understand? I hope for more people like you. Yeah. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.